Light files tend to grow very fast and you may end up with a huge text file containing tens of thousands of logs only for an hour. Therefore, Notepad is no longer an option. In today's video, I'll show you how to parse and read your light files using Lightview Plus. So if you're new and want to find your way back, please subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell. Without further ado, let's dig in. Light View Plus is just a light view. It can parse your light files and show them in a tabular way. It has many other features such as showing a graph of your log entries by time or category, merging multiple log files into a single view, and it will automatically sort your logs using the timestamp. It can monitor your log files and set email notifications. For example, when it sees an error, it can send you an email. Using the tail functionality, you can monitor remote log files live. It can parse text files, CSV files, XML and JSON files, and many other features. So go ahead and download this software, install it, and let's start. So when you open Lightview Plus, you'll see a list of tutorials that, that you can use to learn more about the app. Close this and let's view your log files. Drag your like files and drop them inside the app. Okay, as you can see, it has already parsed a little bit of our file. Date, time, level, logger. But the rest is not correct. Press this first button and this will open a dialog. At first, you have to specify a file name pattern. This is a way for this software to recognize which configuration to use for which file. As you can see, it has already guessed the correct pattern for my files. So it's the name of the app and date time. Click next. And now you have to specify the format of the file. It can be XML, JSON, CSV file, or maybe a structured text format. Or like file is a structured text format. So click next. And now you have to put a sample here. The one that you see is the first line of our like file. Let's click open your like file and choose another one. Let's copy one like entry and paste it here. Click next and now we have to parse it. So timestamp is okay, level is okay, logger name is okay. This column one is not okay. Let's remove it. Message is not okay. Let's remove it. And as you remove them, the text come back here. Now, I don't want the event ID, so let's skip it. But the get is the HTTP method. Here, we have to specify the type of the text. So it can be message, it can be thread, it can be date time, or it can be custom. This one is the HTTP method. The next one is URL, again as custom, the next one is IP, and since the name is here, it will automatically name it as IP, then user ID, and finally message. And message has its own button. And let's check here. Everything seems to be okay. Click next. You can put a sample here to test. Let's paste the other one. Test and it has been parsed correctly. Name the configuration. I name it as the name of the file. And finish. Now save it here. Let's maximize this window and nothing has changed. Okay, it's changed, but you have to refresh. So press F5 to refresh. Okay, now everything works. Let's open the other like file. Now you can see errors indicated in the scroll bar. You can go to them very fast. One of the coolest things is that you can pretty print inside the log entry. So let's choose this log entry, let's bring this up. This is the full text of the log entry. And here we have a JSON. 
let's select it and right click pretty print json and now it's easy to read we also have a statistics here for example we have how many debugs errors and etc then we have filters here for example let's filter http method for example by put and apply and as you can see there are here you can filter by date time and etc and finally if you want to merge like files just hold down control button click on the file and you will see a dialog you can choose the like files and then name it whatever you want and create choose the like files and hit create as you can see these two like files are now merged and sorted by date time how cool is that okay that's enough for this video if you learned anything from this video please drop a like and if you want to see more of these videos subscribe to the channel and enable the notification bell until next time adios amigos